Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Whitney Mead, and if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. I have a very exciting announcement to share with you. We have decided as a team to really push focus with this channel over the next stretch of time, but specifically for me over the next two months in general, to come to you and lead you through prophetic prayers and declarations because there has not ever been a time in our history that is more vital and more important than right now for us to take a stand to rule and reign with the Lord from our position of authority to help assist heaven as they do battle on our behalf to overcome the tyranny and the craziness that is going on in our world. The Lord has been speaking to many prophets about this for years and years. And thankfully in his graciousness, he's the Lord has woken a lot of the rest of us up to what's actually happening. And it's time for us to join together and stand and make decrees and prophesy over what's to come. If you follow Tim and Dutch Sheets at all, you might have caught Tim Sheets' um, Sunday service from this past weekend. And on that service, he discussed the fact that we're getting ready to enter into, and we actually already have passed into for the month of February and March 2022, a very critical season for believers to speak out prayer and decrees as arrows directed at the enemy. And as we speak that out, that angels will literally come, take our word declarations and take our word prayers and let them hit bullseye marks. So that is what I'm gonna be doing with you guys for the next couple of months. We are gonna be getting on the channel, we're gonna be praying, we're gonna be decreeing, and it's gonna be very powerful. So if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button so that you get notified when I put up a new video, and join me from a posture of prayer from your heavenly throne because you are are already seated in heavenly places, ruling and reigning with the Lord. So today we're going to be talking about covenants. Um, in November of last year, the Lord started talking to me specifically about personal covenants in my life, and in particular, um, covenant of marriage between my husband and myself. And you know, when you when you get married, you know that you're making a marital vow to your spouse on your wedding day, but when I got married, I was 22 years old, and I, of course, was madly in love with my husband, but really didn't understand the magnitude of the covenant that I was making with him on our wedding day. We are almost 15 years into being together. 14. We will celebrate 14 years this year of marriage, and there is a level of understanding now, 14 years into my marriage, that I understand of the covenant that we made together before God on our wedding day that I just couldn't understand when I was 22 years old. And we recently moved into um, a new house on a new piece of land, and the Lord spoke to me that it was vital that my husband and I renew our covenant of marriage together on this piece of land in particular, and that we, as we entered into this new season of life where our children are getting older and our businesses are growing and ministry is growing and we've, we've gone through the knockdown, drag out, hard stuff of marriage over the past 14 years that we stand on that new piece of land that is a gift from God and make a covenant and a renewed covenant together over our marriage. And I, kid you not, we did it and the blessings have been absolutely astronomical in multiple layers in, um, in, our, in our marital relationship, in our business, in our family, in our, the peace that we experience. The Lord is like pouring out blessings because of this obedience to renew covenants. And covenants are God's idea. The, the Lord made covenant with Moses. The Lord made covenant with David. The Lord made covenant with us through Jesus Christ. And we have modeled covenant relationships as we've established our own government, our own governments. 
there is a covenant called the Mayflower, Mayflower Compact that the Pilgrims actually made when they landed in the United States in 1620. They, they made a covenant called the Mayflower Compact. And it was a covenant of, um, of civil promise as a group and with the Lord that they were establishing this new, it, it wasn't a nation at that point, but they were establishing this new colony, this new territory, and that it was a, a covenant promise between God, each other, and the land. And it was vital. And in November of 2020, so November 11th of 2020, that was the 400th anniversary of the Mayflower Compact. And there was a group of prophetic believers led by John and Jolene Hamill who actually went back to Plymouth and renewed covenant with the Lord based on the fact that our country had broken the original promise of covenant. And, and that does happen. Covenants get broken all the time. Now, the Lord isn't going to break his covenant promise with us in Jesus, but there are covenants that we make with him, unfortunately, that we do end up breaking. And what John and Jolene did with their group when they went to Plymouth is they renewed that covenant, that Mayflower covenant, once again. And using their words and decrees, they undid all of the terrible things that our country has done against that covenant and reestablished it. And as I prepared for this lesson today and this time of prayer and declaration with you, the Lord brought covenants back to my, to my heart and my spirit, and he wanted me to lead you in a renewal of the Mayflower covenant compact, but the updated version that John and Jolene led their group with as well. And so I'm going to read this out loud to you. As I read it, I want you to pray it in your spirit. Make that a decree of prayer as you listen to this. But also, when we're done, I'm going to leave the link to this to this PDF below this video and also put it on my website at Whitney, WhitneyMead.com. And I want you to print this out for your family, and I want you to speak it out loud on your land, the land that you own. Any land that you have a contract with, even if you're a renter, that is your territory. It is a contract relationship that you have, and that is your territory. Declare this out over your land. Let's help accelerate what is happening in the world right now. And what we are doing is undoing the works of the enemy. We are reestablishing re covenant. So pray with me as I read this out loud to you. The Mayflower Compact, Renewal of America's Covenant with God, November 11th, 2020, and today in 2022. In the name of God, amen. We whose names are underwritten, the loyal subjects of our sovereign Jesus Christ by the grace of the God of Israel, Great Britain, etc., having undertaken for the glory of God an advancement of the Christian faith in honor of our King and Kingdom, a sacred endeavor to reset the United States of America's covenant with our Creator culminating on this 400th anniversary of the signing of the Mayflower Compact. Do by these present solemnly and do by these presents solemnly and mutually in the presence of God and of one another hereby request and receive the very hand of God in the reconstitution of this covenant of marriage between Jesus Christ and our land. We acknowledge with solemn gratitude that you have granted our request for an annulment of all covenants with other gods, with death and hell, empowered by unjust bloodshed, which we and our forefathers had made and succumbed to, resulting in our present condition. We seek you now to establish us in your covenant of life, and with all solemnity and deference to your majesty, we request that your glory, the presence and power of the Holy Spirit might now return and reside again in this land, releasing awakening, union, moral clarity, and life. In a larger sense, we realize that our pleas alone cannot 
dedicate, cannot consecrate, cannot hallow this ground. The brave men and women, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. And as one small candle can light a thousand, so the light here kindled has been passed unto all successive generations first because you keep covenant and show great mercy. With this at heart, for consideration in this petition, we present to you the covenantal legacy of the pilgrims who on November 11th, 1111, 1620, committed the land and the government to the glory of God and the advancement of the Christian faith according to the Mayflower Compact. And we present to you the covenantal legacy of the Huguenots who came to this land with the same intention, whose blood was spilled and mission aborted, whose founder died chanting Psalm 132, begging your majesty that this land would be a dwelling place for the mighty God of Jacob. And we present to you the covenant of the Virginia Company whose chaplain declared the dedication of this land for the acceleration of Christ's gospel to the world, even sealing it with a planted cross. And we present to you the covenant of William Penn, whose devotion to the principles of Christ in governance revolutionized the nation and world. And we present to you the original intent of many host people of the land, who agreed from the beginning that both ownership and stewardship belongs to their creator and father, who sought with reverence to honor the laws of nature and nature's God, to whom you endowed great wisdom, even to convey and implement principles of democratic governance that framed the United States Constitution. And finally, we present to you the legacy of the seed of Abraham, by which your covenant with Israel and mankind has been perpetuated. Our gratitude is immeasurable that you have chosen to graft us into this covenant. To this end, we fully commit our covenantal stewardship to resource the dream of your heart for Israel, the Jewish people, and for the nations. Having undertaken the sacred task of repairing our nation's founding covenants with our Creator and having diligently and wholeheartedly sought forgiveness for breaches of said covenants, offensive to God and detrimental to mankind, we now solemnly and mutually in the presence of God and one another combine these founding covenants as one sacred consecration of this land, the United States of America and all of its territories to the Lord Jesus Christ. It is for us the living now to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which all who struggled for America's alignment with your covenant have thus far so nobly advanced that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. And as you have engraved us in the palm of your hand, as you have granted us this gracious judgment in favor of the saints, this verdict of your redemption. So we again request and receive the hand of God in marriage unto whom we promise all affection, loyalty, and sacred obedience. In witness whereof we have hereunto subscribed our names in Plymouth, Massachusetts on this 11th day of November, 2020. And wherever you are today and whatever date you're watching this, 2022. Now, in the presence of you, I am going to sign my name as a representative of all of those of you who just decreed that in the spirit, but I do encourage you to print this off for yourself and sign it with your family as well. I want to encourage you what we are facing right now is a spiritual battle, but we are spiritually minded people. 
and what we decree and declare in the spirit realm will come to fruition in the natural. You can bet your money on it. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope that I'll see you around here next time.